former government employees are speaking out over the major double standard in Hillary Clinton's server scandal. So why does Clinton get to play by her own set of rules? Now, Hillary Clinton desperately wants her private email server scandal to disappear. And her top 2016 Democratic rival, well, she's trying to help her do it. Watch this. Tonight, I want to talk not about my emails, but about what the American people want from the next president Senator of the United Sanders, States. Let me say something that may not be great politics, but I think the secretary is right. And that is that the American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. Enough of the emails. Let's talk about the real issues facing America. All right, pretty transparent. Hillary Clinton wants to live by her own set of rules. Meanwhile, average Americans, they're not so lucky. Chief intelligence correspondent, our good friend Catherine Herridge is right here on a Washington set. This is really a huge double standard, a big story today. Well, it's very important. Uh, speaking at the press club here in Washington today, these whistleblowers said they were aggressively prosecuted under the Espionage Act for sharing information with working journalists to expose alleged government misconduct. Powerful and politically connected individuals accused of the same and much worse conduct receive at most a slap on the wrist. Hillary Clinton, she got a primetime TV apologist political spin interview from President Obama himself. Former CIA officer Jeffrey Sterling was sentenced in May to three and a half years in prison for violating the Espionage Act for giving classified information to a New York Times reporter about Iran. Sterling was also convicted on obstruction of justice charges because a single email was missing from his account, even though the government could not show he was responsible. Also, a former senior NSA official, Thomas Drake, was indicted in 2010 under the Espionage Act for sharing information with a Baltimore Sun reporter. Nothing there was classified. Compare that to the Clinton emails, more than 400 containing classified information on her personal unsecured server. And while Mrs. Clinton's go-to explanation is that nothing she sent or received was marked classified, the Drake and Sterling cases show that's no excuse under the law. This is a Secretary of State, one of the most targeted individuals by other intelligence agencies and entities in the world, using a private server to traffic in highly sensitive information and no doubt including classified information and no doubt information including sources and methods. But hey, I'm Secretary of State. Even Obama gave her cover. All of the charges were eventually dropped against Drake who played guilty to a misdemeanor but in the process he lost his job, his government clearance and his life savings on his defense, Sean. Catherine, that is an unbelievable double standard. We, know, we, we already knew what had happened to David Petraeus. Mm -hmm. The allegations for Hillary are far worse, though. They are, and based on our reporting uh, here at Fox News, what we understand now is that the FBI is very focused on a provision of the Espionage Act. It's 18 U.S. Code 793, mm -hmm. subsection F, and this deals with the gross negligence in the handling of classified information. So in other words, Sean, if an official has a security clearance and has this information, they act so irresponsibly that the information is compromised. And Hillary's first mm -hmm. statement was very clear, mm -hmm. I never sent or received See, classified emails. Then it became mm -hmm. never knowingly sent right. or, or received right. mm -hmm. classified and then, emails. And then marked, said so they were not marked. But here's the bottom mm -hmm. line. It doesn't matter what the markings are. It's the content that matters. And in these cases, these whistleblowers were prosecuted, and it was not classified, or it was not marked classified. classified. So the question wow. is, will the law be applied in a universal way, and that there's not a double standard, sort of a law for the common guy, and then a law for the politically elite like Mrs. Clinton? Great report. It's, the law should be applied equally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great job. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, joining us now with Reaction, author of The Rise of ISIS. He's also the chief counsel for the American Center for Law and Justice, our friend Jay Sekulow. Jay, um... Your reaction to this double standard that Catherine Herridge is talking about, and we're going to get to specific statutes in a second, but what's your reaction yeah. to the double standard? It's, this is my concern from the beginning of this investigation, that Hillary Clinton gets a pass where anybody else that's involved in this kind of activity, and not, nowhere near her level of activity with the server in the, in the bathroom of the condominium and the emails going back and forth, they're getting prosecuted. 
David Petraeus has to plead guilty to a misdemeanor. Uh, you got others that are going to jail for three and a half years. And, you know, the, the president comes out and says, well, Hillary Clinton, there was, there's no evidence of national security breach. Now, he's walked that back a little bit, considering there's an ongoing FBI investigation. But the gross negligence statute that Catherine was just talking about is very significant, Sean. That's an espionage violation. And gross negligence, in my view, clearly would be having an unsecured server in, in this particular case with a company that did not have security clearance with no protection, I think that raises, obviously, if a grand jury was yeah. really investigating, this would be serious. Rudy Giuliani, former prosecutor himself, former mayor of New York, we'll, we'll keep putting him yep. up on the screen, but we're talking about felonies here that he would be investigating if he were investigating this, this case. How many laws have you identified? He's identified about 15. We'll put them up on the screen. Well, I think there are probably 15, but I also think, and one of those has to be obstruction of justice, and that is the knowingly, this whole information we've gotten in the last couple of weeks about the uh, Platte River being asked to basically wash their, clean the, the server with some emails that were on there. So I think all of those play into it. Now, when we, and by the way, Sean, when you look at, you know, 14, 15 statutes, there can be multiple violations of each one of those. So the real question here is the Department of Justice does the investigation through the FBI, and they get the yeah. evidence and they present it to the FBI, and then is Loretta Lynch, the Attorney General of the United States, going to authorize a grand jury? That's going to be the fundamental question here legally. Well, if she doesn't, i got to tell you, every American should be outraged because of, of a double standard in the application of our laws. Based on yeah. the law, based on what we yeah. know, do you believe between that and the fact that most people find her to be a liar, dishonest, and untrustworthy, can, can she make it to be the president? Well, I think she's getting, look, I think the DNC cleared the deck on that debate on CNN uh, with Bernie Sanders no. saying the emails aren't an issue, and I think she becomes the nominee. Then the question becomes, what do the people of Virginia, Florida, Ohio have to say about that? And I think that's where she runs into serious, serious trouble.